Hello, welcome to the Mini Army Show, and today what are we doing, buddy? The Russian artillery. Russian artillery. This is the hat brand Russian artillery. And uh, what's on this one? This is, uh, this is, these are the packs. We'll actually do this one and we'll do this one. We'll do the, uh, the Dragoons as well. The, these are Napoleonic era dra Dragoons and Russian, and Russian artillery from the Napoleon, Napoleonic era. Um, we, got, we got these, or well, I got these when I was in um, Wonderland Models in Edinburgh. And uh, see on the back of this, you you get the um, you get the whole kind of gun crew on this. So you get like the six guys, what it looks with there, the cannon. You get different versions of the cannon, and you get the the pack horse pulling it. So they'd have a pack horse pulling it, and this one on the back, going from the back, it looks like the horses in two poles, and the uh, four four poses for the characters. So we'll open up these and we'll have a look now. I know, I had a look at these before, and there was a bit of a problem with them, right? Yeah, one of these things was yes. missing. These were right. missing. Right, so there was a bit of a problem with these because this... Things that carry the cannons are missing. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, well, I have to explain to them, like, them out there. Yeah, Look at that, that. Look at that fellow over there. What's he doing? Anyway, so there's, there's, <laughs> four, there's four sprues in this set. But one of the one of the screws, I noticed this just after I bought it. I noticed that one of the um, the cannon carriages were missing. Boom. Dun dun dun. All right, so it's missing. All right, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to improvise with that and somehow fashion. The old one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to somehow fashion together like a little carriage out of like matchsticks and pieces of. Uh, um, wood or something I find and I'm going to try and copy one of these and make make uh, my own version of it but you can see you can see with these with right here so you can see with these buddy look so we go to this right we can see with these so you got the gun crew these are quite detailed but they're not as detailed as the one that we're going to do the charge of the light brigade yeah, um, on the pack, six guys. Uh, and there's a light brigade which we didn't do yet. Yes. So you can actually see the separate hairs on the horse. Yeah, so let's have a look at the, the detail on these. Yeah, they're, they're quite good, they're passable. They're, yeah, they're good enough. I think yeah. the guys look kind of long. The kind of the guys look kind of long, but yeah they look good enough what do you mean they look long they kind of look uh, tall and skinny the characters in them don't, don't they they are very skinny and they're funny shiny plastic with them but you have that's going to be hard to paint that yeah. can probably not paint if you don't spray something on it because the paint just won't attack so anyway it's five sprues uh, this is obviously all 172 scale and uh, you can see the detail of the guys there and you get to, that the one thing i like about it is uh, one of the things i like about it is that selection of cannons see the way you've got like a heavy medium and light pounder cannons which one i talk about like light uh, medium heavy. exactly yeah and uh detail on the horses yeah yeah but the charge light brigade also have really good detail yeah but we're not doing the charge of light brigade yeah, no. So we'll do that on we we do that on a show coming up. But that look I wonder how that look Wait, pulling the actual. This wheel carriage. has a crack in it. The look is that. The right one. A crack. Yeah, look, right there. Anyway, so the figures I don't know they look fine and we'll. Uh, There's the box. I'll get putting them together. I'll get putting them together tonight. And you can see here that is the gun carriage that I improvised. I had a bit of Fomex and I cut it roughly to the shape and I used matches to then uh, come in there and I made the edges, the sides where the gun sits on, the carriage with uh, match matchsticks and I also uh, Improvised by making 
also improvised by making the uh, the axle that it sits on out of uh, just a matchstick and carved down the uh, the thinner parts for the for the guns the gun wheels to slip onto, and that's gonna that's 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 going to look all right when it's painted up. I think I think we get I think we get away with that. Uh, so when it's all put together, look, it looks okay. It looks okay from a distance, kind of. Um, so this is what the gun crew looks like all together. The um, six characters and the pack horse holding the the um, the um, cannonballs. There's a guy here, and he's and he's bringing in one of the cannonballs as well. So he's he's waiting to load that in. And then you've got the gun, gun crew. I like that guy who's about to light. I think he's about to light it. And he's standing back. He's got a, he's got a nice pose. Okay. So there you go. That's the uh, gun crew. Alright, and the other one. And so the other one, the other set that we're looking at is these uh, these Russian dragoons. You know what you know what dragoons are? Yeah, because they're like horses. Yeah, but you know the way you have cal cavalry and you have infantry? Yeah. Well, dragoons were a special kind of infantry that they they were horse-mounted infantry so they could go from one place to another really quick. And so then they, the infantry or cavalry? Cavalry traditionally would attack you from the horses. Dragoons were a different type of infantry that would go from one place to the other, get off the horses and then fight. That's what they were first designed, or that's what they were first envisaged to do. But they ended up just being regular, um, used as like red, regular cavalry then. These are red. They're super red. They're not what? only red, but they're super red. Wait, how, these? This is heavy. Now, the hat dragoons. Daddy, dragoons. You're in the middle of saying something. Uh, yeah, well, um, whatever, we can cut back. Anyway, it's this uh it's this super bright red plastic again, right? That and isn't red. again. This is red. What? This is bright red. That is more brown. Oh no, well, well all right. So, I meant actually again, I meant like uh yeah, the, the, the charge light brigade was super red. Uh so, what do you get in this? You get three you get three sprues all the same. Four horses, four riders. So in in total, twelve in twelve characters when it'll be when they'll be completed. So the detail on them looks nice enough, doesn't it? Um, this again with the shiny plastic, though. Uh, I wish they I wish they would do the paint. I wish they would do something. The paint sticks better to than the super shiny glossy stuff. But anyway, the uh, guys. There's two guys there that don't look. Their poses don't look radically different, do they? They're both sw swinging. Of their heads there, but yeah, um, because you remember you said they think that people have two, four different things and the horses have two. Uh, horses. anyway, so what do you think of the detail on them? Now, I don't have my glasses, so I can't super. I can't tell exactly. It's all right. It isn't the best. So the best. It's the, super shiny. Yeah, the best. With it's it's sometimes it's hard. It's, sometimes it's hard to tell when uh, they come in this super shiny plastic. But anyway, this is basically um, a nice uh, look at these dragoons. And they'll be uh, we'll 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 tell really how good they are when they're painted up and you see the detail on them. Then here we see the men and the horses set up. And uh, even though it's a, only limited poses, if you mix up the horses with the um, with with uh, different horses with different guys, and they kind of keep them uh, separated a bit, you get a nice effect. And it, it, you don't really, you know, it doesn't really stand out too much that they've uh, only got limited poses. So it looks the, the effect that you get is quite nice. I think it's a really nice effect. They're going to look really cool when they're painted up. Um, you could go to the bother of uh, probably warm, warming up some of the plastic and bending it into different poses if you were really bothered by it. But uh, there's, but uh, the effect looks quite good. It looks, it's, it, I think it's. I, I didn't go to. I didn't even. I didn't bother doing that. But I think they look quite good. So I'm happy with these guys. So that's a quick look at the hat dragoons and artillery, Russian artillery, Russian Russian yeah. dragoons. 
Right, so. Wish it Okay. Yeah. So that's a quick look at that, Patrick. So, so uh, quick. Uh, that's a quick look at the Russian artillery and Russian dragoons by this uh, manufacturer hat. And I, we've I've never had any hat models Remember? before, so. Bad box art. Yeah, the box art's not really anything to look at, look at, is it? It's not like uh, it's not great. Okay, we're um, obsessed the with next box thing, art. the neck, well, obsessed, but like it, it is a, a big factor in it, in buying it. Uh, these these were I got these in the UK so there was six fifty which is quite a good deal and they look uh, I'll see what they're like we'll do an update but we'll do an update we'll do an update on them when they're when they're stuck together and painted and set up so that's all from uh, this short mini army show looking at them if you like it tell a friend if you don't tell an enemy bye. bye.